The only Elon Musk has just revealed an upgraded Neuralink brain implant design and a surgical robot. Elon Musk's neuroscience business Neuralink has unveiled the dramatically simplified design for a brain-machine interface implant, as well as the robot that inserts it and three pigs who have the device implanted already. The entrepreneur and Tesla founder demonstrated the new chip design in a full-scale surgical robot and a group of pig test subjects during the presentation. Um, so we're going to actually go quite into depth on what we're doing, why we're doing, how we're doing it. Um, and uh, I'm just incredibly impressed with uh, the, the caliber of, uh, of, of talent at uh, Neuralink. There's a device for everybody, from behind the ear to the top of the head. And on the head, Neuralink has been simplified. Over the previous year, Musk claims that the business has been dramatically simplified as a wearable device. In an online presentation last week, Musk released an update on the implant, which Neuralink is designing to connect human brains with computer interfaces via artificial intelligence. An earlier concept was a bean-shaped gadget worn over one's ear. It was complex, and you still won't really look totally normal. You'd, you'd have a thing behind your ear. So we've simplified this into something that is about the size of a large coin, and it goes inside your skull, he said about the old design. The in-brain device could allow people with neurological disorders to operate technology with their thoughts, such as phones or laptops. Musk also claims to treat neurological conditions such as memory loss, hearing loss, eyesight, paralysis, depression, and brain injury. Holy, holy crap. Humans would control technology with their minds thanks to this coin-sized chip. The latest prototype, version 0.9, is 23 millimeters by 8 millimeters in size and has 1,024 electrode threads implanted into the brain. It's designed to replace a coin-sized section of the skull and sit flush with the surface, making it almost unnoticeable. It'd be charged wirelessly, similarly to how a smartphone or a watch is charged. It's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires, said Musk. Woke Studios in the United States created the industrial design for the surgical robot, which is trained to inject the neural strands into the brain safely. Without general anesthesia, the robot could attach the link in an, under an hour, allowing the patient to leave the hospital the same day. We ultimately want this robot to do essentially the entire surgery. So everything from incision, removing the skull, inserting electrodes, and placing the device and closing things up. We want to have a fully automated system, said Musk during a live event. The robot was utilized to implant the device into several pigs used to test it. Patients will find the surgical robot comfortable. According to Woke Studios, the team intended to create the equipment fit for its clinical setting while consoling patients and reflecting the technology's futuristic character. Typically, uh, what we call a channel is uh, like basically correlates to one electrode. So we read from all of the electrode sites. And so each uh, channel is just one reading, one signal train from one electrode. The eight foot tall robot, which is comprised of three main pieces, the head, the body, and the base, has a rounded design with soft edges, similar to other less invasive medical machines, to give it as much of a friendly feeling as possible. While most of the robot is white, the interior surface of the head is given a light mint green color for sterility concerns and also to create visual comfort. A needle is used to inject neural strands into the brain. The machine's head, designed with zero room for error, holds and guides the needle that performs the procedure and has a vast number of cameras to, as in sensors to capture the entire brain. The asymmetric body has a car-like curve and is designed to allow for controlled movement. This robot section, which moves in five axes, was created to appear clean and effortless. The body is connected to the base, which provides weighted support for the entire construct and houses the computing power required to run the machine. Musk also showed viewers a group of pigs that he and his team tested the Neuralink implant on during the live presentation oh so long ago. So when the little piggy's nose touches something, the implant delivers real-time signals from the animal's brain. What you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the Neuralink in Gertrude's head. One of the pigs was implanted two months ago and is described as perfectly healthy and perfectly happy. 
In contrast, another pig has dual Neuralink implants, so indicating that many chips may be simultaneously embedded into a single brain. And a third pig doesn't have any implant. According to Musk, each animal is indistinguishable from the others. The third pig is a control for those nerds out there. Musk also demonstrated a pig with a chip implanted in its brain, and it since had it removed though, indicating the surgery is reversible without any significant adverse effects. In July, the FDA designated Neuralink as a breakthrough device. And it may make you excited to hear the company is now planning for its first human implantation, which will take place once all relevant clearances and safety concerns are finished, of course. The Neuralink N1 brain implant designed by Woke Studios was recently shortlisted in the Design Awards Wearable Design Project category. Long listed ideas in this category included a carbon negative raincoat made of algae, a mask that makes the wearer's face untraceable to public facial recognition technology, and water-filled headphones that give immersive sound to people with hearing impairments. By 2022, Elon Musk claims that Neuralink will be already implanted in all of our brains and our noggins and our noodle spaces. Elon Musk, who had his hands in many areas, recently announced that Neuralink's brain interface technology company will begin implanting chips into human brains by 2022, which is stupidly close. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO provided an update on the development of Neuralink while speaking at the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit on Tuesday, December 7th. He added that the chip is operating flawlessly in monkeys now. In April, the company had previously released a video of a monkey implanted with a chip playing ping pong with its brain. Yeah. Musk stated that the monkey, despite having a chip in his brain, appeared normal, and that playing the game telepathically is just profound. What's really funny is that it continued to use the joystick even after the joystick was removed and the brain controls took over. Also, Musk spoke about the monkey that became an online phenomenon in his Mind Pong video. In addition, he noted that in, in his interview, the only thing keeping Neuralink out of human trials is FDA permission. Because the chip, which can also be removed, has proven to be safe. Our implanting standards are higher than what the FDA permits, just as our safety standards are considerably higher than what the US government needs," Musk said according to the Daily Mail. Even though 2022 appears to be too soon, Neuralink has already missed its target, as Musk stated in 2019 that his business would begin human testing at the end of 2020. Elon Musk believes Neuralink is superior to the metaverse in the long run. After considering the long-term effects of VR headsets on eyesight, the inventor just doesn't see a future complete only with VR. So these are just a couple of the latest updates regarding Elon Musk's Neuralink. And if you liked our content, do let us know in the comment section below. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.